Well, right now, Shannon here is using an in-motion bionic arm. It sounds like something out of the movies, but in fact, it's being used every day at Tampa General Rehabilitation Hospital to help patients regain strength, mobility, and most importantly, independence. Shannon Watkins was loving her visit to Florida this past March, when all of a sudden, her life was turned upside down after suffering a stroke. Before I used to do everything myself, be independent, everything like that, but now, it's hard. When she entered occupational therapy at Tampa General, the last thing she expected was to be hooked up with the latest in AI medical technology. I was sketchy about it at first, but <laughs> it does do good. It gives you range of motion, control. concentrate and coordinate and move and keep going as best as you can, and it helps. The bionic arm uses a series of activities and games, making the therapy interactive and fun. It's more motivating for the patient. They can see real-time progress. Um, they're more engaged in their therapies. And every patient's session is designed specifically for them. The artificial intelligence in the device is actually very subtle. You wouldn't notice it to the naked eye. When the patient comes in, we do an evaluation where the robot kind of learns what is their current range of motion, what's their current strength, and what areas do we still need to work on? Shannon says she notices improvement every time she uses it. Before I used not be able to do it hardly at all, but now I can do a little bit better. The lines are a little bit straighter. The posture is better. They're one of only a handful of rehabilitation hospitals in the state to have this type of technology literally at their fingertips. A lot of people think therapy is torturous and they may not feel motivated to come, but as soon as we get them on the device, they kind of forget what they're here for. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.